Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So for which integers p will, uh, will this integral converge? So press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we, we will later on need to integrate this thing. Um, but then when, when you come to integrate this, visualize this as being, uh, as being 1 over x m multiplying with 1 over natural log of x to the power of, let's just say, to the power of, let's just say, 5. So, so when you come to integrate this, um, we could use substitution. We could say let u equals uh, uh, net blah 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 and then du equals blah blah. We could do that, but but train yourself to be able to integrate it straight away. So, so when you when you see this being the exact derivative of this thing here, uh, for for example, let, let 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 me give you some examples. For example, if you could use substitution, but um, learn, try and train yourself to integrate it straight away. So if you look at this, this is the exact derivative of this. So when when you come to integrate this, you're really looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will then give you this. Well, if you make this to be your initial guess squared. Now, if you make this to be your initial guess, then when you come to differentiate it, it will be this two will come down, so that will be two natural log of x. And then this gets minus by one, so it'd be that. Uh, but then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be one over x. This thing here matches up with this. This matches up with this thing here. You don't want this two, so you need to negate it. So make make um, make this adjustment to your initial guess. So when you come to integrate this, um, it will then give you this. If you have something like this, um, so notice that you could use uh, substitution, but Try, try and train yourself to do it straight away. This is the exact derivative of this. So you're, when you come to integrate, you're really looking for something that, w in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Well, make this to be your initial guess. Make this to be your initial guess to the power of one notch higher. So, uh, so make this to be your initial guess. So when you differentiate it, it will be six natural log of x. And then to the power of 5, and then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be this. So this matches up with this. This matches up with this. You don't want this 6, so you need to negate it. So that, so, so when you come to integrate it, it would be this. Um, or, or when, when you have something like this, um, it's a special case when this is to the power of 1. So, uh, so when, when, when you have this, hang on. Uh, when, when you come to integrate this, hang on. When you come to integrate this, um, you are looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this whole thing here. So, um, so make this to be your initial guess. Uh, make it so. So you're looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this whole thing here. So make this to be your your initial guess. You want you want uh, this thing to be at the bottom. So make this to be your initial guess. Natural law or natural law of x. So when, when you come to differentiate this, uh, you're going to have 1 over this thing here, natural log of x, and then, uh, and then, and then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself, 1 over x. So this thing here matches up with this, and then, and then uh, this thing here matches up with this. So, so learn, to train, learn to train yourself to actually integrate it straight away. So for example, this thing here and this, so, so to integrate this, Let's imagine this as um, as one over x times natural log of x to the power of uh, minus four. So so uh, when you come to integrate this, um, make this to be your initial guess. Natural log of x uh, one notch higher than this, so uh, to the power of negative three. Now when you come to differentiate this, it will give you uh, negative three natural log of x. To, to the power of negative 4, but then you've got to times the derivative of the, bub of the bubble itself. So that would then give you this, but you don't want this 3 here. Notice that this is the same as this, this is the same as this. You don't want this negative 3 here. So, so you need to go back to your initial guess and then uh, try and negate this 3. So make this to be your, your, make this to be your adjustment. So make, whatever. So, so, um, so uh, when you come to integrate this, it will then give you this. So just bear that in mind. So I will continue in the next video. We would need to integrate this. This is actually quite easy to integrate. We don't need 
we don't need to use um, substitution. So I will continue in the next video. Okay.